Hello, you lovely people. Um, so I kind of mentioned in a video earlier today, going to be showing off some PlayStation games. And uh, so let's go and get started uh, with that. Here's the first one. And I uh, just want to kind of let you guys know this is like the third time I tried to take in this. I keep messing up. And uh, the last time my wife was like screaming at our dog. So just had to start over. Anyway, <laughs> so this is Final Fantasy Tactics. And... Um, the case is pretty beat up, as you can tell it's broken, but I don't know, if you guys have watched some of my other videos, you know that I don't really care too much about that. I can replace that, but disc's in pretty good shape, minimal scratching, so you know the top looks good. That's what's important. Um, but like I said, I found all these games that you're going to be seeing today at my local thrift store. So for those who say that you can't find games at thrift stores anymore or whatever, you know, that's like, that's Goodwill, you know, don't look at Goodwill check other places like local thrift stores mom and pop shops because you'll find you'll find some stuff sometimes uh, it's not <laughs> it's not always a guarantee people will tell me you know um, this next one never even heard of it um, I don't really want to say this name it looks like a dragon game so pretty cool RPG I guess uh, it's by Atlas so it's got to be a good RPG right <laughs> Um, what's kind of strange about this one is it, it only has one disc, has the manual, so that's a good sign, you know. Um, all these I found were in really good shape. Um, but I thought this was pretty weird that it only has uh, one disc, but it's in a, a big double jewel case. Um, there it is, the one disc, also in really good shape. Has the manual, case again, really beat up. Um, not a big deal to me. I'll get the replacement for that. So Final Fantasy Tactics and this one right here. I'm sure I'm going to get some hate in the comments because I don't know how to say that. Uh, next up, Valkyrie Profile. I was really happy to see this one. It's in great shape as well. Case is not beat up. Um, but like I said, you know, you just got to keep trying. Go into the uh, to thrift stores and just keep looking. I found all these in one, one trip. So, um, you know, great shape. Uh, again, has the manual, so that's a, uh, always a plus with PlayStation games. Um, but it's never a given. I, I mean, I've been to this thrift store, you know, I've been living here for six months now, and I've gone there every other week, sometimes twice a week. Again, perfect condition. Looks like this, this disc, too, has never even been played. So I don't know whoever bought this just uh, did not care for the game, I suppose. Couldn't get through the first disc. So that one's in great shape. Next up, Ogre Battle, also by Atlas. Is this one with one disc? It is. This is also one disc. Front has no disc, has the manual. I don't know why. I guess it's just Atlas. I don't know why they did this. You know, they have double jewel case with only one disc. Maybe it was just to make it look like it was a bigger game or something. Um, so pretty cool to have that one, as well as Tactics Ogre. Is this one one disc? It is one disc. Yeah, see, it's just Atlas. This one also has the manual. I think all of them that I got do. And the disc, perfect condition. We'll take a look at the disc, see how the any scratches or anything. Eh, yeah, it looks like it's only been probably played like twice or something. So this was just a, a miracle kind of find at the thrift store. And uh, next up, Final Fantasy VIII. The only Final Fantasy game I think I don't own is seven now. So I've, yeah, also has the manual. Disc one, looks like it's been probably played a couple times. Use minimal scratching. Top looks great, of course. Close it up, next one. Oh, what does this have, two manuals? I wouldn't even know. Uh, the mini walkthrough. Disc two, or is it this this two right here? Duh, I guess the guy never even got to this. You know, whoever owned this before did not even get this far. And disc three, also, eh, dusty. <laughs> so yeah, I get a lot of comments like saying, "Hey, where do you, where do you uh, where do you buy games? You know, where do you you know where are you finding this stuff? Just you know, yard sales, flea markets, and local thrift stores. You know, I really say stay away from Goodwill." When you're looking for stuff, you know, Goodwill's not a bad place to stop in, but, um, you know, don't be expecting to find anything but maybe some VHS tapes or something. Next, Legend of Mana. This is the first one I found. 
uh, when I walked in. I saw this on the on the. It's on. These are on the CD rack. Make sure you're checking the CD rack, by the way, because PlayStation games are always there. Dreamcast as well. Um, not very likely, but they'll be there. <laughs> that's where that's where they put them for some reason. Um, so this is the first one I found. I saw. I ran over and grabbed it, and then I saw all these other ones. So Legend of Mana. Great shape. Got the manual. Disc is in perfect shape. So maybe a little bit of cracking right there, but hey, you got the game. That's what's important, you know. And the last one for the PlayStation is Final Fantasy Origins. So go open this up. I think is this the case broken as well? No, it's not. Perfect condition. Look at that. So a couple um, Final Fantasy games. No scratches. Disc is in great shape. Close that one up. And that's all the PlayStation games I found. And uh, after I kind of was hanging out a little while, I found both of these PS2 games. Um, I got another guy had them in his cart, and I guess he decided he just didn't want to get them. I know these not worth like you know a ton of money or anything, but uh, you know I don't own Okami um, and then Star Ocean, so I was really happy to get Okami again. I think it has the manual as well. Let's try and see. Yep, manual and disc. So. Uh, we'll take a look at that. I don't know for any of you guys that care. Disc is in great shape. Yeah, I don't know. He uh, he had them in his cart, and uh, he just put them back. And I was like, oh, well, I'll take them. So got both of those as well. So all these games, um, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At two dollars a piece. Yeah, I remember it was twenty dollars for all these games. Um, you know, just keep checking every single day. I mean, I wouldn't even say every day. At least once a week, go into your local um, thrift stores, mom pop shops. If there's a flea market around you, you know, try and check it once a week, uh, or you know, maybe sometimes they are weekly. Um, when it gets warm out, obviously now is not the time of the year. Um, same thing with yard sales. Just you never know what you're gonna find. If you see yard sale that doesn't look too good, maybe just stop by. Take five minutes just to kind of look around. I mean, I'm telling you, look through some boxes. Sometimes you just really never know what you're going to find. And uh, you could get lucky, um, but <laughs> it's all just luck of the draw. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I know the angle is kind of probably a little weird, but my back's like killing me now because the way I had to do this, I got like the, the camera stand kind of shaking it now and the table here. And I'm kind of having to lean forward and like reach around this thing. So it's pretty funky um, just to get this video just for you guys. So. You're welcome, and thank you so much for watching.